We see two important things happen in Esther chapter 9. You see, the setting, it's intense. The day has finally arrived that the enemies of the Jews could lawfully come against them and seek to overpower them, to overcome them. But because of the decree of the king, the Jews could lawfully defend themselves, and they had help. I mean, all the nobles of the provinces, the highest officers, the governors, and the royal officials of the kingdom came to their aid. Needless to say, the Jews victoriously defended themselves on numerous fronts and over the course of a few days. And not only did Haman receive a death sentence for his conspiracy, but his sons also. So number one, there was tremendous victory and salvation for the people of God. But also in this chapter, we see that the beginning of a new festival, celebration, known as the Festival of Purim is established. You know, this is actually still celebrated today and it reminds the Jewish people of God's deliverance and his faithfulness. Think of like Cinco de Mayo or the 4th of July. You see, Purim today is one of the most popular holidays for the Jewish people. They have extravagant costumes and games and gift exchanges, performances, and it's just a lot of celebration. You see, victory and celebration. That's what we see in this chapter, and it kind of reminds me of what I guess heaven will be like, a celebration that Jesus once and for all is victorious. But also for today, may we see this chapter as an encouragement for us to take joy in what Jesus has done for us. You know, you may have heard me share this before, but the wonderful truth about our salvation is that we're completely forgiven, set free, made part of a family, and given a future in Jesus. And let me share this with you. Today, that's worth celebrating.